Hey guys, Mimi here back again with another video. So today, I did promise you guys that I was going to make my Sukuna Fresh Pizza Dora series video. No, in my last video, Sunday, I talked about how and, and, and a lot of people have noticed this too, that Yoshi has this strange ability. So, I did say, like, in the video itself, that I don't believe that Yoshi's, um, someone so called curse energy is the oldest people's mind, oldest, oldest people's mind. Um, I don't want to go to the video, but I won't. Huh? The ads. So I found this like last week, I think somewhere in October, yeah, somewhere in October. So before I want, before I get to this. Tumblr post. Um, I, I want to say with with it a doodle, right? With his ability or such curse, curse, curse ability and all, that, right? Interesting with this ability is that that both Chozo and Kodo himself stuck with the same same ability no the same process because in this process right and I was seeing it on the Jujutsu Kaisen Discord that when he met Yuji and this is the Blue Will art too so Watch out for that anime, watch out. So basically, when he asks Yuji what is his spirit, what is his type of woman? And he said that you have to ask that no. And he gave it and boom, immediately he just suddenly got memories that don't exist. And I've said this in the last video. Right? And I really don't believe that, that that ability that he has is altering people's minds. But I have said this before that maybe his ability is to draw out repressed memories, like it's to draw out certain type of like not maybe desire. Or something like that. Because I have seen people saying that maybe Yuji um, has this heavily restriction. And I, and I went on the Jujutsu Kaisen Discord, official Discord, and someone came up with this idea that maybe that for both, um, maybe the world itself. Maybe the world itself was reset one too many times. Maybe that can explain the out of place memories. Because let's look at it this way too, right? This happened two times to two different people he has never met before. And and I have said that too, like in the video. Like this is where I got some of the theories from. The post, so I will link this post. That, and you know what? Before I do anything else again, so 
this is good. It's because I found this last, like, the month before. So, because I read all the chapters to October, yeah. So, let's, let, let me break down this for you and show you what I mean by that. Because the, the person here gave some interesting like, food for thought, and which I found it very rather interesting. Like, alright, what we want about the picnic flashback. But flashback confirms to me a theory about the fatherhood of the deaf painting children. In the picnic flashback, we see the three cursed children that have been revealed to us so far Chozo, Ezo, and Kichizo. Kichizo. The six other fetuses are pictured on the table, which adds up to nine total. Finally, Yuji, Yuji is sitting with them. What is Yuji's relation to them? It's simple. Sukuna is the father. More speculation under the cut. This is talking about the apportions and curse wounds, so major presence trigger on it under the cut. So okay, we were introduced in the Google arc earlier on of someone from the Kamo clan. I forgot what his name was. But here again too the person made the, ob the observation that that I would have concluded too that it's a main it's a common trend on Twitter. So this was on Twitter something like that. That beat demon daddy of okay. girl. It's right here. It's what I'm anything special. In the beginning of the Meiji era, there was a girl born with a special genetic makeup able to bear the children of her spirits. So, it, it is kind of messed up. Because she was basically ridiculed. From the village, um, and anything else. So, go on. So the story goes. When she was ostracized by the family and friends, she ran away to the mountain in the encounter. Noritoshi Kamo. After finding her, he experimented her nine times. So, basically, so basically what this is saying, this part is saying is that he likely injected his semen into her and the fact that because it hurts us that the child born from a cursed spirit and human would become a prisoner of intellectual curiosity so he basically himself was so curious with this girl to the point where he experimented on her nine times because the Kamo clan is actually known for their blood manipulation so let me go further in nine pregnancies the nine abortions created nine death painting wounds the symbolic number nine in this case means Norishiki Norhitoshi like aborted one room for each month of pregnancy for each of his experiments. The question is how were each of these children conceived? That would be the case. 
unless he perform C-section on her nine times or there's a way or some type of thing he used to discharge one of the fetus because it can happen it does happen but that's still babies it is common the major hints were received from the jutsu techniques of Ezo, Choto, and Kejitsu. We know for a fact that jutsu techniques are passed on genetically through family lines. Previous art also established that blood manipulation is, one, is the favorite inherited cursed technique of the Kamo clan. Yeah. It, it shows. So it was so interesting. So, like I said, like before I even found this post, like I was looking for theories before I even click on this post, I read this part of the manga through, and it was so interesting to the point where, because this went on to say about how Sakuna and Itadori are somewhat related it's even directly referenced again in the Yuji such shows of life that blood manipulation is passed directly through the camera from the line Jozo was like inherited from father to son the death painting rooms were stolen in Kyoto training art which is also the same art that camo and blood manipulation was introduced to us. Yeah, so it's, it's so much of an interesting parallel. It was stolen. That was the plan to steal it. But it was like dangerous. In the next art, here the children were given posts when we learned they were products of war. Yorito Hoshi Kamo, a member of the Kamo family in the Meiji era. This is a plot line that has been building for a long time, you know, to choose to fight with Yuri. The blood manipulation passes from father to son. Norishiji is the father of Chozo and assumed the other name of, as well. However, Norishiji is a Jujutsu sorcerer and not a first spirit. When we reach the reason why Yuji was at the picnic table with them, Sukuna is the cursed spirit's father. Now, that could be one of the main theories that Sukuna might be Yuji's father. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to put that past this theory. Because remember, I started the manga, I started the anime. When we saw uh, Sakuna's original form, you look at it and you're like, it resembled Yuji so much, uncannily so much. And this theory does explain it, so this post does explain it. And see, first techniques are passed on from parent to child in human to to sorcerers. The death painting rooms are hybrids and they assume we follow the same rules as Ezo and Kichiso, both have cursed techniques that derive from poison. Now this is where it got interesting because it was all Sakuna himself was the master of poisons. And it was said that when Yuji was eating with the girl, the Gobi assumed that the girl would die because because Sukuna is the master of poison and all na like, like, nasty poisons and all of that. Their blood is poison. 
and they can decay others with supreme rod technique. And the thing about that too is that it didn't when they met in this arc is um he usually with his poison blood it didn't affect him at all. Really? Coincidentally, not really, in the same arc, we're also informed that Superman is the king of poison, giving Yuji as his force and immunity to, to that poison. Yeah. Ezo and Kichizo have both two faces on their bodies. Ezo is hidden until he activates his curse technique. When Chozo goes all out, he uses his blood technique against Yuji. What does the blood behind him appear as? A second face, yeah. See, it was a running theme about having two faces because if you look at the actual story of Sakuma in the Japanese story, it is said that he has two faces and four arms. Two part I should say two parts and four arms. And he's a super super big dude. And he and in the story itself, in the Japanese story itself, he can he does do slashing abilities. He has that slashing technique. He does use weapons. He's a weapon of choice. I like slashing with swords. He uses it also. When Yuji is possessed by Sukuna, the markers underneath his eyes turn into a second set of eyes, symbolic of once again the second face. That's true. And again, when you see the flashback with Sukuna, you see his second face on his stomach. And this pose shows it. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> 